In case you played and missed it, the Australian women's team is in Guyana for the group stage of the World T20. The Australians touched down in the South American nation earlier this week and have been putting the finishing touches on their preparations ahead of their tournament opener against Pakistan. Meg Lanning was the star as they notched a 46-run warm-up win over South Africa on Tuesday, while a superb all-round performance from the bowlers has possibly left selectors with more questions than answers. Oh, look, at probably complicated things to be honest. Um, Taylor Valamic bowled extremely well and um, I think everybody did. So I guess for us it's, it's a great thing that everyone is able to be effective in these conditions um, bowling-wise. So um, whatever mix we do go with, we're really confident that they'll be able to do the job. Taylor Valamic's sheer pace could bring something special to the Aussie attack and the uncapped tearaway is in firm contention for selection. You know, she gets our batters hopping around the net, so we know she's not nice to face. Um, and she's just a young player who rips in and bowls fast. And I think every team would love one of those, if, if you've got them. And um, when you've got one of those uh, on some, you know, potentially benign wickets, then I think that's really important, important that we have that point of difference. Sophie Molyneux sat out the warm-up with a soft tissue injury, but Lanning is hopeful the left-arm spinner will be available. Yeah, yeah, she's um, got to get through training today um, and she'll, she'll be out there running around. So um, assuming that all goes fine, um, she'll be available for selection. So um, hopefully, yeah, we've got the full 15 to, to pick our team from. Australia head into the tournament as the world's top ranked team, but with no ICC trophies currently to their name, they have a point to prove. We've always got huge expectation on ourselves as a group. Um, there's, you know, there's no hiding behind the fact we're really disappointed we don't have any World Cups to show for the last couple of years. We know as well as anyone, we've found out the hard way that you can be playing good cricket and have a, have a little bad patch um, and it can cost you a World Cup. Australia will play Pakistan here at Providence Stadium on Friday in their World T20 opener. You can catch all the action live on Fox Sports and the Nine Network from 7am Australian Eastern Daylight Time on Saturday. And for news, scores and highlights, go to cricket.com.au or the CA Live app.